Chief Rocker. Ain't got nothing to do with Chief Rocker. <laughs> but the first, the first of Studio B's upgrades has taken place. Um, you know, we still, we still getting some renovation done right now. So you might hear things in the background. You know, we get, we getting work done as we speak. But that's not gonna stop us from doing our show. So anyway, um, yeah, man, he shoved him to the ground. Yeah, and, and we had walked over him. Yeah, we got another celebrity in the house. We have, uh, we have the Queen Josette up in here. What's going on, Miss Queen? Queen? Josette. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, welcome. Bottom to the top show. Bottom to yeah. the top show. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. You know, I, I had to mention that about it. it. Ain't got nothing to do with me because you still think you're gonna get these apples from me. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you what I did last night. The apples are never. Come on, hold up. Tell me what you did. I'm going to tell you what I did, all right. right? I knew I was coming on with you here on Monday. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me get this and analyze it to the best of my ability. And that's what I did. I went home. I sat down. I said, okay, Cleveland down 3-1. We're going to go to state. Mm -hmm. Everybody think it's a done deal, just like everybody thought it was going to be a sweep, mm -hmm. right? So by Cleveland back being up against the wall, I mean up against the wall, you know, they're going to come out like a man possessed, like they did in the game three. They're going to come out like a man possessed. They're going to go down there, smack Clay and all of them in their face. You know what I'm saying? They, they, <laughs> they, they, they number one motivators not playing. So this is a game you got to steal, and they will steal it. Now, now I, wanted to, I did want to ask you that before you finish your thought. Right. What, what percentage of a chance is that increased with Draymond not being able to play with Cleveland come, going to steal a game? Oh, it's going to be a big percentage, man, because all those loose balls and them tap-out balls, mm -hmm. but he tapped out a lot of balls. He did. See, he Cleveland, did. that last game, it was so – I counted. It was about 15 tap-outs today, man. Uh, Golden State tapped the ball out yeah, when Cleveland should have had the and, rebound. And, and Anderson Varejao had a couple, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they ain't worried about um, Varejao too tough, man, because, um, you know, it's a grudge thing with him, you know. Yeah, to them, they think he just like Ivory, you know. They just they just going to watch their ass with him, you know. So, we ain't worried about that, child. You we got know? Georgia girl in the building. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Georgia Peach girl in the building. Yes, welcome, yes, welcome. yes. Welcome, welcome. Bottom to the top. Yeah, yeah, SMB. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, with Draymond, like, I, I guess it is kind of like you said. He really didn't have that good of a game. Um, He missed, he missed a few open threes. But Steph was back to form. He came through with like thirty-seven points. Right. Um, Clay had another twenty-something points. Um, and uh, Clay Thompson had said that you know he was shocked that 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 LeBron took the trash talk from Draymond Green personally. You know, he mad because Draymond called him called him a bitch. You know, basically, and, and, and loss is cool. You know what I mean? But 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 on 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 the real tip, on real tip, I feel LeBron on that because. You don't go around calling no other man no bitch. That's man law. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if y'all on there, the heat of the battle and all that. You know, you could have called him anything else but that, you know. So in other words, you trying to tell this man, I just put a skirt on you, you my bitch. They do that in jail well, I, because, I, you know, you ain't got no else to go in there. I understand that too, but <laughs> we don't know in the context that it was said because the players themselves are not coming out and saying how it was said. But I'm saying, you right on that point, but it's a difference between saying you a bitch or... That was some bitch made shit you just did right there. Oh, but I doubt if he said it like that. Oh, that was a that, bitch that, that Draymond. <laughs> Draymond. Draymond straight up street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he got ghettoism on him. That's another good word I got. He got ghettoism on him and, t and called him out his name. And, you know, it, you, you know LeBron went through. How many years? Le LeBron been in the championship series seven years now, right? Total? Yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah six in a row. Because you got to count the one from, the one from Cleveland. Cleveland. And then he had the last right? six. And LeBron never act like he acted now. So you have to do something very vulgar to make LeBron come that way. You know? I mean, yeah, you're right. You're right. But he was the one that did that. You know what I mean? He started the whole thing with the push down and then the step over. Willie said this was just a way for Cleveland to try to get back in the series. They're still going to lose with Draymond out. Bench players are better. Well, Willie, I'm going to tell you. Ain't Willie your boy? Yeah, Willie my man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Willie your man, right? Well, hey, I remember one time before I didn't chase you away. Don't have me chase you away again, all right? 
Now here you go with your Golden State bandwagon ass too. Who your team? You from Orleans, right? He from Orleans? He from Mississippi. Oh, well, well, he's he's from, well, you know that the same, same thing. Man. You know, same neighborhood and whatnot. Go and catch one of them Pelicans, all right? You know what I'm saying? You know you ain't got nothing to do with this series here, but you on that bandwagon too. <laughs> Hey, Willie's my guy, though, man. Yeah, it's what? all good, Willie. Uh, it's all love, bro. Oh, he know that. He know that because he was up in here. But this is what Clay Thompson said, and then they posted it on the score.com. Um, he said, I'm just I'm just kind of shocked some guys take it so personal. It's like, I mean, you know, it's, it's a man's league, and I've heard a lot of bad things on that court. But at the end of the day, it stays on the court. And he, what he says, the sharpshooter also took a shot at James for being too sensitive. He said, uh, I don't know how the man feels, but obviously people have feelings, and people's feelings get hurt even if they're called a bad <laughs> even uh, if they're called a bad word. I guess his feelings just got hurt. I mean, we've all been called plenty of bad words on the court before. Some guys just react to it differently. All right, well, how about if somebody come call you a goddamn light-skinned nigga? How you going to feel about that, Clay? I'm pretty sure he's probably been called soft on the court his whole damn life. You know soft ain't got nothing to do with what uh, LeBron got called. True. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ain't nobody called Clay that. No, see, Clay just playing media right yeah. now. You know what I'm he saying? Him. He trying he to say it. But see, that's that's the wrong thing. Remember, I told you, you should never wake up a sleeping dying. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I remember you said that. Yeah. You, well, did, you know, go watch I mean, what's going to happen tonight. Hey, but look, man. Watch but, what's going to happen but, tonight. But, but we say that, though. But, I mean, to me, that's good old fashioned trash talk. And I love it. I love it. As, as much as we criticize the NBA for being soft now. You know, and I mean, by rule standard, you, they don't allow a whole lot of shit that they did back in the day. So, with that being said, if cats want to go out and talk trash to the opposition, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm well, cool with that. You know, I can see, I can see if Clay was one of those bench players who barely get any playing time, and he could, he get in the game like it was McAdoo or somebody who barely get in. But if you're one of the main players out there, yeah, talk a little trash. Why not? Yeah, but he talking trash through the paper. I ain't seen Clay on the tour. I ain't seen Clay on the court talking nothing. You know what I'm saying? Clay scared that he may get beat slack. Michael Jordan talked trash through the paper. I don't know. Michael Jordan talked a lot of stuff on that court, he too. Talked a lot of, yeah, he talked a lot of stuff on the court, too. I don't know if Clay talked talk trash on the court, but, I mean, hey, good old-fashioned trash talk is, is what I think it is. Man, I, I'm just put it to you like this. I don't care who did what, what did this, and all that and that. All the way going to boil down to, Clay going to kick that ass tonight, and we moving back to Cleveland. It will be a game six. And remember, Chief Rocket said that. So tomorrow, Tuesday, all I want y'all to do is say, Chief Rocket made another prediction, and it's going to the right way because Cleveland going to go home and win. It's going seven games. You heard about what LeBron said about, about Clay's um, comments? No, I didn't hear what LeBron said. Yeah, he laughed. They saying that he couldn't control his laughter when they asked him about it. And then he said, I'm not going to comment on what Clay said uh, because I know where it can go from this city. It's so hard. It's so hard to take the high road. I've been doing it for 13 years. Uh -huh. it's, it's hard. It's so hard to continue to do it, and I'm going to do it again. Go ahead and preach, LeBron. Oh, get out of here. With preach, you. LeBron. Take the high roads. Crap. I don't like that high road part, but he wasn't taking. He, he wasn't taking the high road when he stepped over Draymond, and after he pushed him on the ground, was he? Was it Draymond deserved that? Well, Draymond ain't I mean, Dr if Draymond had a problem with him sitting his nutsack on his head, then we had a problem <laughs> with him kicking that boy in the head. Okay. You know? Yeah, you're right. Sure. Draymond, uh, Draymond, Clay, all of them just need to go sit down and eat some cheese and wine. We got Grego just popped up in the building. Oh, we got who in the building? We got Grego. We got the sushi rice eating, dirty Boston Harbor tea drinking. He loved the whole Brady deflated balls on the sideline. He also got a utility belt where he carried Brady new jock strap, you know. And uh, he's just a New England Patriot lover. And he got his boy in here named D. You yeah. got Grego, the New England. What? New England Patriot fan. What up, Grego? That's my stat man, too, as well, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's my stat you man. get your stat man? Huh? Hey, look, man. I mean, we going through the renovations. on that, man. We going through the renovations. And, you know? and, and, and they I don't have anything. Uh, we, oh, okay. we don't have the gunshots no more. Oh. You know, you know. You know, we don't have a bomb. We don't have nothing right now, but we get all that together by the time next time we come on air. But, uh, well, Willie said he's been a crybaby since since he's been there. Take the team on the shoulder and win. Mike talked more shit to players 
but his game showed up regardless. Getting in the player's head is fair game. I agree with that, Willie. I agree with that right there, Willie. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Mike, look, look, look. Who was it? It was somebody on or, or, or somebody on Portland squad or something, man. And they had said something about Mike, you know. Yeah. Mike go out there and hang 50 on him. You True know that. what I'm saying? Mike go True out that. there and hang 50 on you and talk shit to you the whole way just because you said well, something, something slick to him. Well, in, in, in behalf of LBJ right now, because if it was my show, I'd be getting his head. And that's what I'm about to do. LBJ, if you listening, take your powder puff cream ass and go out there and be a man tonight and win the damn game. You're supposed to be the leader, not the orchestrator. As far as trying to get everybody in the game, you're supposed to be taking the ball to the hole. I'm tired of you going to the hole complaining. Go to the hole and throw your whole body at them and get the foul because they're going to put you on the ground. Go throw your body at them, LeBron. Don't stop in the mid. You look like one of these rookies out here stopping in the midair throwing a bad pass somewhere. You know? Stop doing the LBJ and play your game. Nobody can say nothing about Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving came out there and played his game. Yeah, true that. Kyrie did his thing. Only thing about Kyrie, Kyrie Young right now. Kyrie at the end of the game should have been shooting three points instead of taking yeah, the ball yeah, to the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I agree with that. Too. I, I don't I don't like that. And 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 I need for you, LBJ, because I know LBJ listened to our well, show. Well, you ain't know that. I didn't even know that. Yeah, he listened. Know that. But but he he his in, in fairness to Kyrie, even though I can see why it made no sense, because we're talking about the best free throw shooting team in the league. But in, in theory, in defense to Kyrie, you figure, I'm going to go and get a quick two, and let's see if one of them will miss one free throw, you know what I mean, in the process, in, 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 in the, in the, when it's getting clutched. Maybe one of them will miss a free throw, and we can get a quick, a quick another two, or then we take the three. So, you know, I, I, I do agree he should have been shooting threes, but if you shoot a three and you miss it, the game is probably definitely over. Mm-hmm. If you can get the guaranteed quick two without right. taking that much time on the clock, you right. extend the game out further. But, I mean, hey, they still have plenty of fouls. From each of them to pick up to try to do and something. I got something for Tyrone Lou too. Tyrone Lou, stop, stop with these ugly suits, and then you come out there, you coach like the suits you got on. I need for you to come out there and start using your damn head sometime. He should have had Moscow out there and this and, and Jefferson with LeBron, so LeBron wouldn't have been taking that punishment, man. You know what I'm saying? It would have loosened up the middle if he had Moscow out there. No. Tyrone Lou, I don't know who you listening to. If you're listening to somebody, or if you think you know it all, you don't know it all. You're still young as a head coach. We don't want to make this as a learning experience. We want to make this as an experience. You went in there and won it. So, tonight, get yourself together and have a better game plan. Because even though they was turning the ball over, and I think a lot of that came from referees not calling them fouls because they were getting slapped all on the ring. Man, I everybody bet you, was getting I, slapped, man. Everybody was getting slapped. We saw, uh, we saw, we saw both. I saw, I saw LeBron literally throw Steph, Steph, Steph Curry to the floor when he's trying to fight through screens and all that. Like, I mean, they they grabbing and pulling on Steph, and they're not calling that. And they, and and and, and right for, okay, late. Like, they gonna let them play, so they letting all of them play. Uh, no, no, them referees right there. That was uh, the three Stooges. Mo, Larry, and Curly. Their game was off. They didn't know half the time what to call. It was one time, they went five minutes and they ain't called nothing. And I seen about 50 fouls. How you explain that? I, I, I think it was both no, ways. No, see, you stuttered right there. I'm you, saying, though, I think it was both ways. I think they weren't, call, they weren't calling calls on either side. It's not just like, oh, well, they made the calls for them and they ain't made the calls for them. Man, I'm going to tell you like this, right? Look, look, look. Oh. Look, Golden State shot 31 free throws and Cleveland shot 26. And then you can chalk up at least eight of those free throws to that being garbage time when they when they were forced to foul. So it was pretty like it was pretty much even call. They shot almost an even amount of free throws. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. They gave they they gave um, Golden State a lot of fouls when it was really clutch. When they was trying to get back in the game. And a lot of them fouls they was giving them, they wasn't giving Cleveland. Come on, man. Uh-huh. Cleveland came down four times in a row, taking the ball to the hole, and pat, pat, pat. It sounded like it sounded like the man was getting robbed in the Bronx somewhere. I seen I seen a lot of good defense, man. I saw, man. I saw. 
Iguodala and Draymond and Clay Thompson and, and, and doing no, good jobs of no. going up with their hands straight up in the air. And you know when it gets when it gets to this time of the year, you go all straight in the See, air. I sometimes figured, they call it. Sometimes I they figure don't. you'll talk about. The-